Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is Marie Holiday, and I hope everybody had a fabulous day today. And before we get into today's lecture, please hit my subscribe button and hit my notification button. And if you are a consistent viewer who has not subscribed to my channel, it takes a split second to subscribe to my channel. You know, I, I appreciate you watching my videos, but if you have not subscribed, please, it takes a split second and hit my subscribe button. You know, it does not support my channel if you do not subscribe. So with that being said, let's get down to today's exciting lecture. The focus of this lecture is going to be delayed gratification, a.k.a. the marshmallow experience. Delayed gratification, a.k.a. the marshmallow experience. In today's day and age of one-click purchase and immediate accessible information, instant gratification, unfortunately, is seen as the norm. The always own world with smartphones, Wi-Fi reinforces that you have to get what you want right away. But instant gratification isn't always the best. In fact, impulse control is an essential life skills. And as I progress on into this lecture, I'm going to explain to the audience I'm going to explain to the world briefly on the marshmallow experience that I'm here to tell you. So when it comes to achieving your goals, delayed gratification, that skill will get you there faster. And I'm here to tell you, and I'm going to say that again. When it comes to achieving your goals, delayed gratification is the skill that will get you there Faster, And I'm going to be honest with the world, you know, Marie Holiday has always had the abilities and the skills to always delay gratification. The truth is, it's not realistic to get everything you want, much, much less to get it immediately. Instant gratification is actually a source of frustration. It creates false expectations by learning to employ delayed gratification, you buy time to strategize, thoughtful, and to learn from your failures. So, what exactly is delayed gratification? You know, we hear that all the time. What is delayed gratification? And how can you build this essential skill? Because it is a skill set, and I'm here to tell you. So what is the delayed gratification? Delayed gratification means resisting the temptation of an immediate reward in anticipation that there will be a greater reward later. It's a powerful tool for learning to live your life with purpose. It is linked directly linked to impulse control. Those with high impulse control typically excel at delayed gratification. However, delayed gratification is also a skill that you can develop. So why is delayed gratification so important? Why is that? I mean, does anyone want to even attempt to answer that question for me? Why is delayed gratification important? The ability to hold out now for a better reward later is an essential life skill. Delayed gratification allows you to do things like forego large purchases to save for a vacation, skip dessert to lose weight, or take a job you really don't love, but that will help you in your career later on in life. So with that being said, it's the reason why I held up these marshmallows. There is actually a uh, marshmallow experience, the marshmallow experience that I remember reading in graduate school. And I'm just going to give the audience a brief 
overview of that experience. I'm not encourage everyone to re do your own due diligence, do your own research, and, 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 and attain that body of knowledge and read that experience in brevity. In 1960, a Stafford professor by the name of Walter Mischiel created one of the best delayed gratification examples. He tested hundreds of young children by placing each child in a room by themselves. Accompanied, accompanied, he put in that room only a single marshmallow was placed on the table in the room with the child. In the researchers, just one single marshmallow was placed in that room with that child. And the researchers offered each child a deal. If the child refrained from eating that marshmallow while researchers briefly left that room with that marshmallow on that table, and I can literally smell the sugar from this marshmallow. I don't even eat, eat marshmallows, but I can smell it, this sugar. So if the child refrained from eating a marshmallow while the researchers briefly left the room, the child will be rewarded with a second marshmallow. Now they will have two. The child will be rewarded with a second marshmallow. But if the child ate the first marshmallow, there will be no second one. And these were very, very young children in this experience, participants in this experience. The results of the so-called marshmallow experience underscored the difficulties humans of any age have with delayed gratification. I don't care if you a child five years old, someone 70 years old, all humans have a problem with delayed gratification. And in that experience, some of the children ate that first marshmallow immediately. They just ate it, they gobbled it up. Immediately they ate that marshmallow. Others tried to restrain themselves, but eventually gave in and ate the marshmallow. Only a handful of the children managed to hold out for the, the second marshmallow reward. They held out and eventually got a reward of an extra marshmallow. Researchers Follow the marshmallow experience participants into adulthood over a span of 40 years. And some of these young children who are adults now, older adults are still alive. So that is what you would call a longitudinal research study. Unlike the children who caved to temptation, the children who delayed their reward were far more successful in almost all areas of their life based off the results of the research. And I'm here to tell you. That research begun in 1960 and ended in the year of 2000. That was a 40 year longitudinal research study. They scored, at the results of that study, it was discovered that they scored higher on standardized tests the ones who delayed gratification, they were healthier, the, or they responded better to stress, had fewer substance abuse issues, demonstrated be better social skills, they were more goal-oriented, based off the results of that longitudinal study that ended in 2000. This delayed gratification example prove that it is pivotal to success in almost every faucet of our life. And I'm gonna talk about some pointers on how to develop delayed gratification. I've had delayed gratification my entire life. Number one, start small. To orient your brain towards delayed gratification, start small, create a goal so easy you can't refuse it. It's like waiting three minutes before eating a dessert Next time, wait four minutes. Those are just some examples. Incremental progress lets, your, lets you build confidence with each small goal that you achieve. Number two, make rules. You can also use delayed gratification as a rule for certain parts of your life 
where you may like self-control. If you are a shopping holic, for example, make a rule that you must wait three days or one week to buy that purchase or that jacket or that item online. Or make a rule that if you spent more than five minutes debating a purchase, you don't make the purchase. Number three, practice gratitude. Reminding yourself of all that you have, already have, such as clothes, shoes, car, jewelry, etc., electronics, is a very effective way to train your brain to accept delayed gratification. Always ask yourself, do I really need this new item? In short, be grateful for what you have. And number four, remind yourself of your goals. Keep a picture of your goal on your refrigerator, on your phone, to remind yourself what you're working towards. It will make delayed gratification that much easier. And I'm here to tell you, you may want to progressively save for home re renovation so you won't have to go into debt, or you won't, may want to progressively save for a major trip out of the country, or you want to progressively save for that large purchase so you can do it in cash, or you want to increase your portfolio progressively. So remind yourself of your goals. And there are some differences between instant gratification and delayed gratification. I did a prior upload on instant gratification. Check that upload out. The difference between the two is instant gratification leads to short-term rewards that feel good in the moment, but wear off quickly and can create financial disruption. And I'm here to tell you. Instant gratification happens when you give in to your desires and get a boost of happy hormones like dopamine and endorphins. And delayed gratification is a long-term life skill, a strategy for reaching your goals and finding long-term fulfillment, fulfillment. And I'm here to tell you. You know, just like my goal of getting my book, getting ready to hit on all, at all major bookstores, you know, I progressively worked on that goal over time and progressively paid off that publishing company uh, because that, those services were not free. I didn't go out and take no loan to create debt. No, I progressively paid off that publishing company all in cash. Now there is a zero bill so I can recoup my money as I begin to make money from my book. So in short, basically the 40 year longitudinal marshmallow experience that begun in 1960 and ended in the year of 2000. The participants were young children at the start of the study. And many are still alive today. They will be in the mid to late fifties or older heading towards retirement or already retired. Years ago at the airport, I was traveling, I believe uh, on vacation somewhere, I believe to go to California. Years ago at the airport, I met a participant from the Marshmallow Experience. As I listened in awe, because I shared with him, I remember reading about that study when I was in graduate school. And I stated to the man that I read this experience in graduate school as I was listening to him. And I was listening to him in awe because he was actually one of those young, young children who was in that experience. And he remembered. And I found out that, wow, he was literally in that longitudinal study. And he actually told me that he was one of the young children who held out and did not eat that marshmallow when they left him in the room by himself to, uh, with that marshmallow in that room because he wanted that second one. He wanted to get two versus one. And he talked about how hard it was. He did not eat that first marshmallow that was left on the table. He also shared with me that he was able to retire at the young age of 50 by delaying gratification throughout his life, by being doing wise financial investments throughout his life and diversifying his portfolio. 
So in listening to him, his decision-making skills and delayed gratification skills care, followed him throughout life. Those skills were already instilled in him at a young, 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 young age. All of what he told me was in line to the findings of the results of the marshmallow experience. Because remember, the end result of the marshmallow experience it concluded in 2020, that these individuals will score higher on standardized tests, they were healthier, responded better to stress, had fewer substance abuse issues, demonstrated better social skills, they were more goal-oriented and able to delay gratification. Those were the end results of that 40-year longitudinal study, and I'm here to tell you. So ladies and gentlemen, I encourage everyone to read that marshmallow experience. It's very powerful. I was uh, in awe when I literally met someone who was a part of that experience with everything that he shared about his journey in life was in line to the outcome of the study. And this man had the ability at a young, 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 young age to delay gratification by not eating that marshmallow. So with that being said, that's all I have. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button, hit my notification button, subscribe to my channel, share my channel with one person you know and get them to subscribe. And also, if the audience is aware that Marie Holiday book, Awake Financial Freedom, is about to hit all major bookstores. Uh, my publishing company sent me several copies uh, to the author. I got them first. I don't already sign the first autograph book. I don't ship it out to my daughter. Awake Financial Freedom. I'm here to tell you this book will have a direct impact on awakening any reader financial freedom. So with that being said, that's all I have. Simplify, Simple Fidelis, and I'm going to leave you in the care of your own conscience. Have a great afternoon.